welcome to a very special mini waffle with me, Taylor James. I'm saying it's special because this is the first episode that is being recorded in the brand new 22 Productions studio. It has been (laughs) quite the journey. And for anyone who has been with me from day one, will know I've kind of gone from recording on my headphones to then recording from my bedroom to then nearly recording in a studio in New York, but the less about that, the better, to now a purpose-built podcast studio in my hometown of Coventry. And I'm just completely blown away and overwhelmed and so grateful that this whole journey has been leading to this kind of moment. I'm looking around and, you know, I used to say quite a lot that, oh, I don't know how I've done this. I don't know how to do this. And I don't know why we do that because deep down we know there's been a lot of hard work. There's been a lot of heartache, a lot of pain that goes into anything that we feel passionate about, whether that's a relationship, whether that's a friendship, whether it's a job, whether it's, you know, your fitness routine. It's very easy to to kind of discredit the hard work that goes into things. But again, we, I will say it a lot on the show, but it's, you know, what is meant to be will not pass you by. So to be at this moment right now, to be sat here waffling away in the studio is surreal and again i'm so i'm so grateful for every single one of you that tune in week in week out to listen to me waffle on or listen to my guests waffle on or even waffle with me in person it'd be rude for me not to mention the sold out show that we recently did at St. Mary's Guildhall in Coventry with my phenomenal guests, Safia Voragy and Harry Hollis. It was possibly one of the best nights of my life. I'm mentioning that night purely because I was ready to step away from the waffle. With 22 Productions, I kind of want to move into the production side of things more so than being in front of the microphone or waffling with everyone but I walked out on that stage and saw how proud my mom was (laughs) it was the first time she's seen anything live um that I've done so it was a very proud moment anyway and then seeing how people engaged with myself and the guests on the night the way people kind of responded to what they were saying how they resonated with them the messages we had afterwards were just insane and you know none of it would exist without my mom me (laughs) and even you lot because you guys have probably supported me (laughs) more so than some of my own friends and family um which sounds quite bitter. It's not bitter at all. It's just, I'm just very grateful that you've continued to stick by my side through the ups and the downs and the waffles, I guess. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd kind of give, give people an update to see where we are. Um, just to get used to recording again, I guess, because obviously with the studio, the waffle is no longer in my bedroom. I will be face to face now with some of these people um and some of the conversations that have been recorded so far i have to say are probably some of the best waffles i've had on the show for the past couple of weeks through recording i've learned more about myself i've made so many connections with people and to see the excitement on people's faces when they walk through the 22 productions door to see a space i'd I'd go as far as saying a a safe space that i've been a part of creating is an incredible feeling so yes buckle up because we're going to the next level um 
with some incredible guests, brand new segments. You may have even noticed the brand new titles that rolled before I started waffling. Um, But yeah, before I wrap things up, I just want you to take this moment as well to practice a little bit of gratitude, whether it's simply something like you made your bed this morning or, you know, you got your favorite coffee or there was not much traffic on the roads, on your way to work, whatever it is, whatever put you on a, in a good mood or put a smile on your face, take a minute to think about that moment because you bloody deserve to be happy. Like you people who tune in week in, week out, put the biggest smile on my face and just keep that fire burning for me. Um, so yeah, you deserve it too. So go and do that. <laughs> and yeah, I will see you very soon for a brand new season of the Waffle Shop podcast. Thank you for listening. See you soon.